Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And this is Sophie, my five-year-old female severe macaw, or chestnut-fronted macaw. And I adopted her three months ago. And every month I've been documenting the progress we've been making. We are working on trusting each other. It's a long, laborious process, let me tell you. But right now, I, we have made some major milestones. So she, when we got her, she did not step up. Now she will get on my shoulder. I'm not comfortable with her getting on my shoulder until I know she will step up so that she can step off my shoulder. So when she's scared, she flies to her cage. And if she gets scared on her cage, she can go anywhere. If she goes anywhere away from her cage, she will absolutely step up on my fingers. And she's trusting me to take her back to her cage. And I have never failed that trust. Now, while she's on my hands and we're walking around the house, could I take her to the shower perch? Absolutely. Could I take her anywhere? I don't. I don't want to lose that trust. Oh, baby. She's got egg all over her beak. So let's take a look at our, the progress we've made so far. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey. Sophie, are you ready to show off some of our skills? Some of our bonding that we've progressed in? Or are you going to bite me in front of everybody? Choice yeah. is yours. Yeah, choice is yours. Now this is Christmas morning, so she got some new presents. I don't know if you can see this one. She loves this. She's already starting to shred it to pieces. That's a good sign. Yeah, baby, where's your snowman? Where's your snowman? She uses this wrap because it's hard for her to get a good grip on this wood and it's really hard for her to chew this wood to pieces. Like as you'll see with all this pine and all this other wood toys that she has, she just chews it to pieces and she needs to, to keep her beak trimmed. Are you ready to do some training? Are you ready to step up? Are you? Would you like some? She's only doing the training for the treats. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm telling people. That you're very food motivated and not just any food. Pistachios. Want to, you want pistachios? Do you want to step up? 
I'll go get the pistachio so we can show everybody what we've been working on. Would you like that, baby? Yeah. And it's funny because if you have animals, you know it's very alpha-oriented or... But with birds, it's more permission-based. I would never tell her to step up. I always ask if she wants to step up. And most of the time, she wants to bite me. So one of the biggest problems with using a pistachio as a treat is that it takes her so long to eat them. I would love for her to try any other treat. I have tried a wide variety of every kind of nut, tree nut, trinket, nicket thing I could think of to no avail. But if you notice last month, she was putting one hand on my finger and grab and step. That was her step up. Now this month, she's actually stepping up with both feet, grabbing her treat and stepping down, which is huge progress for us. Huge progress. And I probably spend between three to five minutes every day doing this. This is the only time she gets her pistachios is when we're training. And she steps down and eats her treat. Now, if you've noticed, I try to keep my hand somewhat on the cage so it's as steady as can be. I want her to build a trust in my hand, too, at the same time as I'm building trust that she's not going to bite me. Now this is an absolute first. She has never eaten her treat while staying on me. I am so thrilled. I'm trying so hard not to move at all because I don't want to blow it. My main goal is going to be to put my thumb over her, her claw. But right now, the fact that she's eating her treat while on me, that's a first. I'm like in heaven. I'm like in absolute heaven here. Hi, huh, baby. But we are working on it. We are very slowly working on it. When I have my breakfast or when I have my dinner, she comes and shares my dinner as long as I'm eating something healthy. <laughs> baby. And I just got a recipe for birdie bread. I'm going to try that. Yeah, no, baby. Yes, I am. And I love mimicking her. Every noise she makes, I make. If you notice, one of her tail feathers is about to fall off. I want to say it's from molting, but it's not. She got spooked the other night and flew over to the room on top of the fish tank, but the fish tank was still being set up and didn't have a lid on it. She went right underwater, came up. Now, at this point, it was brackish water. So she took a little time to recover from that. Oh yeah, but right before that, she took off over here, flew into the wall. And that's where I think that happened. And then she flew back. And she only flies when she's scared. I have yet to get her to fly just to hop around. And then she flew into the fish tank. So it's probably the first time she's had a bath. She hates the water, hates a bath. I can't get her to play in a bowl of water. I can't get her to go anywhere near misting without freaking out. Still working on that. I think I'm going to take her to the local uh, bird store to see if they can help me with... How do I acclimate her to getting a bath every day? Getting sprayed down is so critical to her health that we do that. So is pooping. Pooping is very critical to your health, isn't it? It's critical to everybody's health. If you don't poop... You could die. I know. Oh, you're so pretty. So there's something else we were going to talk about. Besides the permission-based training. Oh, so what I'm doing with the... Right now her tree is right next to her cage and she can step on it. And then every day I move it about a half inch farther away. 
So right now it's getting to be a little bit of a stretch for her to get from one to the other. But she really likes her tree. So as it gets farther and farther away, she's going to be to the point where she needs to hop. And once, because she does, I don't think she has any real confidence in flying or she doesn't know how to fly unless she's scared. So up to this point, I haven't been able to get her eat or chop her salads in the morning at all. But I have mixed some chopped up vegetables inside her egg. And she's eating the egg, and I believe she's left every piece of vegetable behind. But I know she's starting to get a, a taste for it. Thanks for coming along and checking out the end of month three with Sophie, my severe macaw. I look forward to I look forward to what we have in store for us every month. I'm going to I'm going to keep documenting the progress. Maybe slow, but it's progress. So thanks for coming along and checking out the progress with Sophie. I think we're on the road to trusting each other just a little bit more every month. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. Hey Everybody is Susie Q. Hey, everybody is Susie Q. Nah, nah, hey, everybody is Susie Q. So come along with me. Set off Susie Q.